Phase and Vacation Destination for the price of one. Yep, in partnership with Adansi Travels. And it's all part of the 8th anniversary of Adansi Travels. And they're inviting you to join this all new package to Maldives and Dubai. Yep, Maldives and Dubai. Are they both on your bucket list? Well, time to just make sure you start checking things off that bucket list. So join Philip Nye with just $2,750 per person or $5,450 per couple. And you get to enjoy these two fine destinations with flight, hotel, visas, tours, meals, everything covered. And when a dancey tell you it is covered, trust me, it is covered. Call them now on 055-631-0404 or visit www.adansitravels.com for all inquiries and reservations. Adansi Travels, feel life's beauty. Well, let me say a special good afternoon to my man George AEC out there at the La Beach Hotel. And good afternoon to you, Gideon, of Adansi Travels. We're about to get back in the studio and have a conversation. Yep. One is a CEO of film productions and movie industry guru. The director and writer. Known for the 2017 movie KTK. I love that one. And then the one that I found quite interesting. Saichi Gang. The other one is a big sister. An inspiration, a friend. And you should taste her food. Oh my God. One of the most beautiful we have in our industry. Akofa Ejiani is a Ghanaian actress. An entrepreneur. She's an award-winning actress, actually. The other one is some, some foolish boy that I am. Uh, Yusuf, what did he call you? Uh, uh, Masa, uh, what, what be your name, sir? Future president. Of which, uh, uh, of which club? <laughs> <laughs> this country that we live in. <laughs> Prince David says, my man in the studio. <laughs> Uh, Prince, make a talk that's in, or you say what happens in Cape Coast stays in Cape Coast. Yeah, it stays in Cape Coast. Let's leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> or, or more specifically, what happens at Solis stays at, at Solis. Stay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me also greet Calibos and the General and Tatsia, the rest of the team. I mean, you guys made it happen for Dr. Pounds. It was beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I think it was a very, very, very great event. All right. So, um, Akova, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Aren't Thank you supposed you. to be in Cape Coast or something? I'm supposed to be, baby, actually. So what are you doing here? Because you asked me to be oh, here. Oh, is that not so sweet? I knew you'd have to be there because um, I was there on Thursday and I'm um, telling the euphoria, the feeling for the Panafest. I think uh, we ought to give our Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture some kudos. And also the Ghana Tourism um, um, Authority, the Development Agency, people like yourselves. You guys have done a great job. The National Commission on Culture, the Diaspora Office, um, the one at the Office of the President, the one at Dubois Center. You guys have done great because Panafest this year looks like it's really exciting, even with the COVID and all. How did you manage to pull it off like that? Well, I think it's all the the understanding of what Panafest and Emancipation stands for. Yeah. You know, and um, I think that we should get more Ghanaians involved. involved. Most times it looks like it, it's a program just for the diasporians yeah. and stuff like that. So I think that more Ghanaians have to understand. We have to let our children know what happened all those hundreds of years ago. Let them understand so we don't get ourselves enslaved again as a... Uh, Okay, that's another topic for another, another day, day because exactly. I think that we are so enslaved. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this debate. <laughs> yes, yes, so the more we understand, the the better uh, 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 we can avoid exactly you getting know, ourselves being, back being into enslaved. It. Yes, so Tell it's it. it's not something that ju- that just happened to our ancestors yeah. and uh, our brothers and sisters from the diaspora are suffering for it, uh, those of us here m- must feel their pain and put ourselves in their shoes exactly. and, and own our part in it, exactly. what we did for that to also happen, Happened, you know, yeah. so um, it's always emotional and, and I, I, uh, especially for me. I, I know, you know, I think because it's Panafest, I think you should do us a poem. So let me speak to Peter while you get yourself ready to deliver a poem before we get into our conversation. I, I can read one for you. Beautiful, that would be good. Peter. Yeah. So why you no put me for movie? Oh, George, your agent. The last time I contacted your agent, they say you the role you search there. 
Denzel Washington. So, <laughs> so if I talk to your agent, oh, the, the tall one, Asakam. Asakam. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. They make make you introduce the the short one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, yeah then yeah, we will yeah, take him yeah, from there. Yeah, you forgot because you they are for happy for my movies. I mean, yeah. I wonder why you know them, any of my movies. Yeah, well, I'm surprised. I'm yeah. surprised. You know, I mean, I, I I went on a little retirement. These small boys think they are the <laughs> HIV. <this. I> <laughs> and he's such a good actor, you know. When the cat oh, is now I'm blushing. This man, no, we gr- I grew up watching. You know, for that for that reason, we used, I when I see my I, I call him by the the character name, which is even oh, part of the, the conversation. We have to even yes. <laughs> I've been calling my boy, 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 and I'm like. But Peter, if you know, when you say I grew up watching, you make people think I'm like 60 years old. <laughs> mm. I mean, <laughs> it was one, of, yeah, one of the people that brought some excitement to our growing yeah, up. I mean, of, even yeah. if I'm, 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 which of course I'm not, but if I'm the same age with you, oh, at the time that I was busy sitting by exactly, at the time I was busy sitting by the TV and entertaining myself, you were the one entertaining me. Exactly. So yeah, by God's grace, you started time to But we started by watching Akofa and Co, and we knew that that was now I feel. They are veterans. <laughs> <laughs> For them, they are veterans. No, no, they are veterans. Tell it in those days, TV theater, pa. Ah, you can't miss it. Akofa, Abia Dachi, Edina Matachi, Jagapi, Mens. There was a certain Mens. What's his name? Uh, there was Blue Reverse Junior. You know, in the Idikoko series, there was Idikoko, Idikoko's master. What's his name? I've forgotten something men's. I've, I've forgotten the man's name, you know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, was, the, that was the group, man. Those were the people. Acha, 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 pa. Anyway, but I like where you started from. But first, let's hear um, um, Akofa's poem and then um, we'll, we'll come back and start our conversation. I'll, I'll read something from um, um, Kwabne Yakwa's book of uh, poems. It's called uh, I Had a Dream. This one is Old Man Weaver. That's right. By the muddy Mississippi, when our beaters and abusers demanded of us entertainment, insisting that we sing to them the songs of Africa, we never would say no. To refuse would be death, premature death, and only a fool dies that way. It is good for their spirits. One would say to another with great knowledgeability, Oh, and it makes them work better, would come the rejoinder. Oh, yes, it was good for our spirits, which soaring free will sally back across the Atlantic, recalling all the way who we were, that we should not forget our roots. What painful ordeal it would be if they ordered us not to sing, as indeed some did, goaded on by their dainty dames seeking ever new ways to tame, domesticate this maimed lion whose full-throated roar scared the wits out of them and their children. Ever new ways to end the sleepless nights and fateful dreams bequeathed by our soulful melodies assailing cranking consciences. When our taxmasters and oppressors demanded of our song, we would always oblige them. And raising our voice to the blues, we'll tell our story in lyrics. Mala Mariega, 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 Mala Mariega, Miwe For there are some things that can only be said in song, only in the mother tongue, even in a foreign language. So we lifted every voice and sang of the liberty that had been, that would be ours, of the homeland we had left a while, the homeland we could not forget, land of the brave and free. Our souls would have shrunk and our spirits shriveled. Our manhood would have withered and our wombs warped if we had forgotten Africa. But we remembered always that homeland considered often a simpler joys and with unfettered tears and unshackled minds told our freedom in lullabies and the words of our swollen lips and the meditations of our burdened hearts seemed acceptable in God's sight and he took our sorrows and our woes and he dashed them to pieces against the barriers that they had built to dam our blood. 
which like the old man river keeps just keeps flowing along and he gave us a hope and a dream an abiding faith which like the old man river keeps just keeps flowing along. Buckle up, because we're well, flying well, high with the biggest entertainment show south of the Sahara. It's showbiz A to Z. <laughs> Joy, 99.7 FM. I love this station. And that was a beautiful rendition there from Akofa. Wow. Charlie. Mr. Fa, make emotional. Prince. Yeah, you did, I, tell, I know if I tell you to give us a poem, you do a lion. I do what? A lion has a tail. Oh, has a <laughs> big tail. <laughs> 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 but Akofa, that was wonderful. Gentlemen, oh, I think you. an applause will be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was yeah. beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank you. Okay, let's get into our conversation. Peter, mm -hmm. I was going to start with you. Okay. And you are right. It got to a point, even my father also started calling me Abuaji. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh, I, I think that, you know, um, time passed. A lot of us are, uh, on this part of the, of the world were not... Uh, Conscientized with the notion that film acting is just another trade. Um, people even watch film and take moral lessons from it. Like, you know, people refer you to, hey, if you do this, you end up like the person that we saw in this film. If you do this, you end up like the way this film ended. They treated film as real life uh, Situation. uh, situations. And so that's how personal they got with it. So when people leave those characters, they see them, they want to refer to, oh, I want my son to be like Abuaje, I want my son to be like Titi, I want my son to be like Master Richard, that kind of thing, because they think they are real life people and they are, they are, they are representing real life situations. Mm -hmm. And so that is what uh, more or less like has clouded our judgment. I mean, since then, I think for now, people are getting the civilization, but the, uh, the, the, our eyes are opening to the fact that people are just being paid to entertain us or to play those roles. But before then, that's how it has been. That's how people sort of attach Interesting. Uh, a lot of realism to, to those things. Those things. Uh, uh, Prince, um, Peter has taken it from uh, the point of view of the recipients, those that consume the content. But some have also argued that it is the actors because there are other actors who play certain roles and you don't even remember. So is it a problem <coughs> that is actually, you know, fueled by the performances that the actors churn out? Um, as he rightly said, he spoke about realism. Uh, sometimes certain actors can play certain roles and it becomes contagious it becomes infectious like um you know you can tend to you know create the difference between the personality you saw on tv and the real person in some situation you find people who act on screen behave the same way outside outside the screen like if they are not filming the same mannerism the same lifestyle but to a large extent if you play a character very well and uh, it become infectious to the viewer or the audience, then even though education is there, they find it very difficult to believe you are not who you portray to be. But I always tell people what we do is not who we are. Because me, for instance, I've been labeled all sort of names, bad boy, blah, blah, blah. But on the normal day, if we are to go out there and check on the regular guys, the things they do, I can't even do dot. <laughs> yeah, but when, when they, you know, when they wear me that crown, sometimes I just say it comes with a trade because uh, I was in London five years ago. We went to a lady's house and she said she won't let me in. And what was the problem? She said, I'm very mean. I'm a wife beater. I'm wicked. Then the sister, this is a grown up person. The sister was telling, oh no, Prince is just an actor. She said no. And when I was trying to get close to her, she, she locked the door. Wow. So I was like, ah, what's going on here? So at a point, I think... I got opportunity to hold her and I hugged her and I'm like, no, this is me. There's nothing. Then we started talking. Then she got to know the real me and she said, oh, all along, I didn't like you. I just didn't like you. You're so mean. 
the way you handle the girls, the way you beat women. I'm like, no, it's just a character portrayal. So, um, uh, Akofa, what do you say to those who have argued strongly that look, for somebody to deliver a role so well, that person is the role already. I mean, for instance, um, Pusha delivered, uh, Ajeti Anand delivered Pusha so well. Ajeti Anand must have been that kind of person already. Maybe he suppressed it. Or George Quay played up Wajet so well, he must be that kind of person already. Maybe he found a way to suppress it. So in real life, he's pretending, but he lives his true self when he is on the screen or on the stage. Is that also possible? No, um, I don't think that that is what it is at all. Hmm. You know, as actors, um, you, you're supposed to, you know, that's why we call it a character. Yeah. You are supposed to become that character. So in reading your scripts, we have what we call analysis and interpretation. Yeah. So you sit down, you analyze the scripts, you interpret it. If you're lucky to have uh, somebody like, let's say Peter, who is also a writer, if you're lucky to have the writer on set, the writer can tell you exactly what he's looking for. Sometimes the writer is not a director. So the interpretation is left to the actors and the director to tell you in total what you're looking for. So you, the actor, then put yourself into that room. But if the writer is there, you're lucky to have the writer. The writer can then tell you, this is what I was thinking when I wrote this. This rule, And okay. therefore, it helps you, the actor, to now live what it's, it's, it's on paper and live it. So you need to be good, to be a good actor, to, to leave that imprint okay. on, people's on people's minds. people's minds. And that's why it makes them think that you, you are that person. Are that's have you had of any food. kind of experience in that area? Have um, people associated with you with any role that you've played? Well, they're always making me cry. <laughs> 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 that, that is typecasting. Yeah. They typecast me. But they is are, that supposed to mean that naturally you love crying? That, that's where I was coming to. Okay. There are instances where, um, you know, the person has a certain trait. Mm -hmm. Let's say Prince uh, is a very good athlete. Yeah. And so they, if there's a role where you need an athlete, automatically you go for Prince. Instead of maybe auditioning for other people, you know, oh, he, uh, Prince can do 100 yeah, meters in hand and hand. So you just go for Prince. That's typecasting. That's what they do to me most of the time. So you see that I'm playing soft roles. I'm crying. Personally, I'm emotional and very passionate. And so it comes easy. Crying comes easy. I cry when I'm happy. I cry when I'm upset. I cry when I'm praying. Everything makes me cry. So it, it makes it easy to play such roles. roles okay. okay. So there are those ones that the person is prone to something and therefore you let them play those roles so uh, uh, it becomes more realistic. But any good actor is able to detach themselves from the role that you're playing. You know, so there's always, like there are three of you, There there is, there, there is, a coffer mm -hmm. watching yes, <laughs> <laughs> you know you detach yourself completely so it's like you're, you're watching over what you are doing okay so mm -hmm. there's this whole spirit of me watching me play uh, let's say i'm called josephine yeah so a coffer is there overseeing what josephine is doing so i'm detached complete, completely completely okay so you don't get consumed that what you're doing it, it can get emotional if you're not careful depending on the role you're playing you could get affected depending on your emotional state exactly let me give you an example no hold we on did... before the example i've got somebody on the phone line so save that hold on to that example <laughs> we're going to go to the phone lines and then we'll come back too but before i go to the phone lines i want you to hear this because this is what the person spoke about and then um it sort of also triggered this conversation which we had had on our shows for a while. Here is my brother, Pusha. Term damages, to focusing wrongly on your fan base instead of the, the art and the craft of oh, what yes. you are doing. Oh yes, there are, because then the, the, young, the young generation are learning from us and, and show, be, show business has become so huge that it, it's, it's now the thing and, and people are just thinking about that and 
and therefore we're sacrificing what really should go into the making of, of our productions, our storytelling, etc. And, and, and we're not having the quality that we should have. People are just being uh, just a detached from, from the characters that they play and from you know, their, their own personalities that they want to sort of um, 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 project out there. And it, it's, it's doing more harm than good. Talking about projection, when people meet you and try to relate to you based on what they see in the movie, as against your real life, does it, does it annoy you? Um, God, okay. um, uh, there have been a few times that I, I've, I've been bitter. You know? um, other, other times, too, it's been... I've had this voice telling me that you must be doing something good. You know, so, so take, for instance, this lady who would, um, we, we were, were requested to be uh, guests, uh, do some kind of guest appearance uh, at the Esfuasata Land Park. And um, it was a, a youth kind of event going on. And so I was in company with one of the uh, tasks of Things to Do for Love. And then this young boy uh, takes off from the mom, recognizes me, of course, and then hugs, comes to hug me. The mom is not sure who this is, probably a relative or so. She's getting closer, and then she makes me out. And then she, she, she becomes very stern and rigid, and then grabs the boy's um, it's like, stay away from such rascals. For, for a moment, I thought she was, you know, it was Joking. just a blade. But it, she was serious. And she walks off. You know, and I thought, like, come on, man. This is agitated. This is not Pusha. <laughs> for her, there has to be some, you know, marriage between Pusha and Kai. We must have something in common. That's why I can play that bad boy so much. So, you know, no, no, no. He, she wouldn't want my... my, my. <laughs> Sometimes we walk into a uh, fast food joint. You realize that if 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 you if you watch, you would see that the mothers who have daughters are looking out for where their their, their daughters are, sort of bring them close because okay, the bad boy just walked in. <laughs> like, when will people draw the line? You know, it's um, it's unfortunately one sense that people cannot really detach us from who we play. But then again, I think that. Over time, we've also um, created that perception because of the, the, our lifestyles. For some, it's an extension of, it, it's still movie making, even, even when camera says cut. And that has been an unfortunate part because we've used some of um, um, the, 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 the styles, the, the characters that we, we play, and we've, we've brought them into real life, and his life still goes on. And bad boy on camera, bad boy off camera. And then this has really um, been grounded. And that was my parents. brother, George Ajiti Anan, on um, Springboard. He was on speaking on Springboard. Let me bring him on to the, uh, into the conversation now. Apusha! Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. And you meet today? I Okay. <laughs> but you, you are a bad boy. Isn't that why you were able to do that? <laughs> really? Um, I've, I've played bad boys before, but I'm not a bad boy. <laughs> you're not a bad boy, are you sure? No, I'm you, not. You know, I've, you know you I mean, I've, we, done, we, I've done bad things, doesn't mean I'm a bad boy. <laughs> yeah, because we go way back. Oh. Yeah, should I start narrating international student hostel stories? That, that's why I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm bad. I'm done bad things, but I'm yeah. not a bad. Boy. Prince David also also has stories about you that he wants to tell. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh, you know. <laughs> eh, so so really, I mean, um, people yeah. think you are actually the character that you play. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, oh yes, people do. Uh, people do, and, and as, as I've always been, I've taken a positive stance as far as that is concerned. Because then, um, as you as you heard me from the clip that you played. Um, you 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 must you must be doing something right for somebody not to be able to detach you from the, the character that you play, especially when you are not the character in real in the in the real sense, you know, in the real life. And so, um, I think that is in a positive. Sense. But but is it always about doing something right? Because we also mm. remember characters like um, Count. Um, Count Dracula uh, by right. um, 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 Christopher <laughs> Lee That's and right. all those things. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. we remember the Joker, uh, Heath Ledger. Yeah. You know, yeah. and all those things. Those are characters that were. Or are you talking about performance good? Well, I mean, it's I'm, generally. I mean, it doesn't matter which character you play. Um, the, the, for for every director, for 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 us to really live the character. Um, we, we need to push the limits, you know, and so characters like, as you said, Heath Ledger and, um, you know, Christopher Lee really pushed it. 
um, where they were living the characters in real life so that they, they, they would be it when, you know, Kamar says, let's go. And but there are there are always you know consequences you know because then if if you become it too much I remember um, if the Christ, Christopher uh, Lee's uh, Lee. case he had to really isolate himself and move away from society because yeah. then you know he, he became so detached and isolated and he became weird and he couldn't really relate to people because he was living in a house that even didn't have light and all that he was really pushing himself to be that person you know and and there's always a price to pay and how, how far we go and and people have always you know said that yes we want you to to live characters so that it's so unbelievable when we're watching it and go through that experience but then you should always remember that you, you are still delivering you, you know you're, you're an actor and you're performing a role because there, there are there are aspects to it that can can be um you know uh, harmful Talking about actors playing roles, have you ever had to turn down and and um, and Akofa and oh, yeah. Prince, I would ask you, say, <laughs> have you ever had to turn down a role for fear of what it might do to you in real life? Oh yeah, I, I mean, if, if I can go first, then uh, so I, I did turn up, t- turn down a role. It was on homosexuality, and it was requesting me to be in, I think, briefs and I think in some scenes. Um, you know, stuck naked, and <laughs> I, this this were this were pretty early days for me, and I didn't want to position myself to be, you know, um, you know, showing my my butt to the world, and 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 then the subject itself wasn't was a very sensitive subject then, um, you know, people really hadn't accepted that, or people were not even um, um, beginning to question or find details about this culture, this lifestyle. And here I was um, projecting this character. And then the, the, the story also had no position where the, the, the stance was, whether they were for it or they were not for it. They were just throwing things in the dangerously and in the public. And I, and I had to turn it down because I wasn't prepared for, for a story like that. So yes, we do tend to turn it down. But in Run for Your Wife, you did not turn down Bobby Franklin, who was also a homosexual character. No, I didn't because the lines the lines were 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 really spelled out. You know, it was well structured. This, this is a story that had gone through the process. It was a movie that somebody thought that oh, it's a nice subject of the day, and you know why not just throw into the market to it, it, to draw the the audience uh, coming in. So the, the the two different things in one. Somebody was taking advantage of the scenario just to make money. In other, it was well structured. And if you look, if you've read, and I know you've read Run for Your Wife, you've done it over and over again, so you know what I'm talking about. So, so, so the contexts are different. Recently, you came under some small fire for people seeing uh-huh. your billboards in town holding a gun. Do you think that sometimes the audience also push us too much? Oh, sorry, push you too much? Well, you know, it, it, it's tough to really. Um, I mean, look, everybody, you, you get all sorts of um, responses. You know, people would, would, you know, argue for, argue against. And and the thing is, that, that does make it beautiful. You know, you can't always expect that everybody would, would, would go for it. Um, I think it also shapes, helps shape our, our approach in terms of our content creation, in terms of what we put out there on the, on the market. So... Both sides are welcomed. I mean, you get those for and those again. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. It's good. It's good for that industry. I know you're on set, so we are not going to prove further. We'll <laughs> find time and bring you into the studio. When are we going to look sure. for Felicity? Anakololoi. Charlie. But respect to Akofa, um, you know, respect, respect, respect. I mean, she, she definitely is one of the um, ladies, um, actresses in Ghana who really got me into um, wanting to be an actor. So um, respect to her in the studio. Shout. We've also got Prince and we've got Peter here. So, um, oh, bosses. Hey, hey, hey. Respect for the Peter Rich. Respect to you guys, man. <laughs> yes, yes. He respects you together, as well. Together, yes. All right. Ajite, together. thank you very much. Thanks. Okay. So, um, that was our brother and friend, George Ajite, and an AKA Pusha. And, um, I was asking you to hold a thought before we went on the break. Yes. You were, uh, yes. I was going to give you an example. Yes. Go ahead. There was a play that's, uh, uh, uh we put up a play called A Raisin in the Sun. Yes, A Raisin uh, in the Sun. Yeah, yes, you know A Raisin know. in the Sun. And, of course, you know I'm Pan-Africanist, so exactly. some things just get, just get to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so in this play, um, my family, I was, I was playing with Younger, and I was, I was uh, the mother, 
master of the house, you know, Riverson played my husband. Mm -hmm. Yes. And here we were, we we're the only black people in the whole neighborhood. The rest were white. Mm -hmm. So this black family in the neighborhood, and it was set way back. And the whites did not want this black family because they were the only blacks. They wanted it to be all white. So they wanted to get rid of them, get them away, away from, the from them. So they made an offer to the house for them to get away, go away. And we refused, you know. And they went on and on and on just to get out, out of that neighborhood. And guess what they wanted to use it for? A stable for horses. <laughs> To put, yes, get rid of the human beings there so you can put your horses there. I mean, come on, you know. So when we played this, it got to me so bad. Personal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my fanny said, well, come on. <laughs> personal, pa, you know. So at the end of the play, I, I don't even think I was able to go for the curtain call. Wow. I, I stayed backstage and I wept like for 10 minutes. I was crying. Wow. I was crying because, you know, it, it plays like that and things like that brings back just what we're talking about, the slavery, the way they treat blacks and all that and all that. So that one time, I couldn't detach myself from, from the character I was playing. I, I, I took it personal you know, and, and played it as if it was happening to me there at the time. And it was so painful, I, I had to cry my heart out. So wow. those instances can happen depending on the emotional state of the actor. But basically, every actor just plays, it's just a part you're playing, you play it and you switch off and you're gone. Interesting. Peter, how do you work people to get into character? And when you're working people into character, do you sometimes think about the consequences that toll it may take on their personal lives? Okay, so there, there are a couple of uh, types of acting, but I mean the popular ones are the, the classical acting and then the method acting. Um, the, you know, because our part of the world, we are so much into drama, we like to, you know, drive on the emotions of people, the sympathy, the apathy, all of those things. So we try to be very emotionally driven. And so most of our actors, most of them, not all of them, most of them tend to uh, employ the, the method acting technique more. And this, and this, and this is where the, the, the classical actor and then the, the, the method actor all have the same script. But one, which is a classical uh, actor, reads the scripts, tries to stick by it, and just try to interpret it to their understanding yeah. and go and deliver it as it is. So more or less like they are acting the role. Now, the method actor now looks at the script and needs some moment to now reflect on certain personal experiences that would uh, make them portray that role and make it believable like it's a real life mm -hmm. situation. And, and that is where the thing starts getting very personal that if you're not even careful, it can affect your psyche because I, uh, imagine bringing a very bad memory back to 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 life because of uh, the a role you're playing, role, yeah. Because of a role in a film, so you may finish like I, I was saying that she finished for a moment. She had to cry. I mean, sometimes it lingers on for just briefly, not for 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 for, for your lifetime or for so long. Because any good actor should be able to get out of uh, character. character. Yes, one. And so that is what happens. So when I am selecting people, I I I try to. Uh, employ all these uh, th these techniques because there are some actors that will prepare so well from the house before coming. They have their own interpretation of how they want to go about things. And so the director, you ask them if they understand what the script is and if there there's, there are any questions. And that is when you start seeing where their perspective is coming from and how mm. you can adjust it to to the the line of the script. Because sometimes the person's personal experience that they are bringing on board may be good, but it may just take a little detail from what the script uh, expects. Expect. And so you put them. Put them in line. I like rehearsals. It's just that we don't have the funding for, for, for rehearsals. Exactly. Yeah, because in uh, some way, people are getting to rehearsal like four weeks, two months, three months, and things like that, just to make sure that they are into the character, they understand the character better. But, but when you mention that um, a good actor mm -hmm. should be able to come out of character easily, mm -hmm. 
Is that really the fact? I didn't quite agree with that. Yeah. And listeners, sorry. Uh, today I'm also an actor. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, a good actor should be able to get out of character after the the the, the, I, the film. I, I beg oh, to I differ. Yeah. I oh, see. That's okay. <laughs> oh, our comfort don't you? No, no. It, it's, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. We disagree. It's good. We disagree. No, 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 it's not. Really Peter, hold on. Let, let's okay. hear uh, Prince. You yeah, see, Prince. Characterization is such that. It's you assuming another personality altogether. Mm -hmm. And some way, somehow, whether you like it or not, there's this intrinsic trait. Mm -hmm. There's some element, let's say 2%, 5% of whatever role you're playing. Mm -hmm. So now, if I'm being given a script and I have to do character analysis, mm -hmm. I think of where the character is coming from. Mm -hmm. What is the character's mm -hmm. background? What is the character's spirituality? Mm -hmm. How do people see the character? Mm -hmm. So now, if I have the pleasure of walking around for some time before I play the role, mm -hmm. when I'm driving, when I'm talking to people, mm -hmm. I'm playing that character. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I act weird. Then it gets to the point where you get on set and they say action. You're all consumed in the character mm -hmm. until they say cut. Mm -hmm. When they say cut and you sit down, some of the emotions are still there. Because mm -hmm. I did a movie yeah, but titled... Yeah, we said. Yes, no. It wouldn't, you said it, you can let go. You can't easily let go if you are really involved in the characterization. Let me, let, me ask you a question. let me ask you a question. Ideally. Let me ask you a question. We did... If if George and you two, if you yeah. want to answer, because since all of you are yeah. artists, mm -hmm. now, if you are acting in a very melancholic uh, yeah, situation. Uh, room, yeah, and uh, your scene ends tomorrow, right after the scene, you are in another, you are on another set, probably a comedy. Yeah, are you <coughs> telling me that because you have been so absorbed in that role, you are transferring that emotion to the next no. set? As a good actor, you, no. as a good actor, you, you can switch. Get out of it. No, 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 no. You can switch. There are other scenes. Let's exactly. say you are That's playing a role and there are scenes. There's another scene. But what I'm saying is, you cannot get out of the character entirely, because we did off the hook, and mm -hmm. off the hook was a psycho guy, a guy who was schizophrenic. Mm -hmm. Now I took it like you know it was a normal thing. We we're acting I and Jackie in Takradi. Now it got to a point we were acting, and Jackie said, "No, the actor, let's stop." Prince is getting. I said, "No, I'm not getting out of hand." I'm Delivering the character. They said, no, she's scared. Then when they let me be, when I sat down, I noticed I had gone beyond the range. Mm -hmm. So I was quiet for some time. I was just sober you, quiet. You, you had written your own script in your head. <laughs> huh. So so sometimes characterization, <laughs> let's say you are crying and uh, the scene requires you to cry. Mm -hmm. Then I, there's something called emotional memory. Mm -hmm. You play back. Mm -hmm. Maybe something, I something happened. Then it hits you. Mm -hmm. Masa, you were supposed to cry for like two seconds. You yeah. can cry for one hour. They're yeah. telling you to stop. Yeah. You are still... Yeah. Uh, and you Peter, know, I cannot uh, agree. No, but ho ho yeah, hold on. We agree that it will stay. No, Let me ask: oh, Has no. has have all of us seen Possession? It's a 1981 uh -huh. Andrei Zlowski movie. Uh -huh. Possession. Uh -huh. It's a horror was, movie. Uh, the yeah. role was played by Isabel Ajani, mm -hmm. and um, there's a scene in a subway where she had to vomit. It's a horror movie, and that that scene is one of the most horrifying scenes anyone has seen in that horror movie. Now. Um, Ajani won um, an award for that. I've forgotten which award it was. It was not an Oscar. She won an award. Um, but she also, in an interview, uh, I think to Time Magazine or something, she delivered that. She did say in the interview that it took her almost a year of therapy to be able to get out of that character. Almost a year. And um, Michael B. Jordan... <laughs> Michael B. Jordan, until, um, until Black Panther, had never really played a villain before. Yes. If you check his history, he had that was his first try at playing a villain. And okay. if you listen to interviews that he's granted, he tells you what the character, the toll that it took on him mm -hmm. and what it take to become that comical, that nice Michael B. Jordan character again. So mm -hmm. I find it a little, when you say a good actor should be able to you get out of character easily. No, no, it's taken some ideally, years. Ideally, you're supposed to. Ideally, it depends yes. on the character expectation. There are certain characters that involve a lot. If I'm supposed to talk to a girl and just walk away, it's a normal thing. We talk. To, they, I don't need to even get in character. Mm -hmm. But if there are characters range that you need to do certain things, it will get to you. You get emotionally involved, and you can't just you. You can. You're supposed. To. You you are supposed to. Yes, you're supposed but, to. But realistically, there still should. be traits. It won't just dissipate like but, that. But like it doesn't. It doesn't. It shouldn't go beyond that day. It shouldn't go beyond day, when they say cats. Like, like, you oh, know, the, once. Oh, what's the name of this guy? The guy who did um, Smokey. You no, know, the American, the Hollywood guy. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. He and, can't help it. And, He's no, gone no, bananas and, now. And you know, and that is. He's gone bananas. Look, my friend, yeah, so, my so very good. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That. Just what I'm saying. Yes, that Peter. If 
the person has had a near experience before and they employ this method acting technique like and try memory. to relive again this again. past bitter experience it's like you're refreshing your memory of a, a past experience so it's like you cry the way you want to cry previously like the way your girl dumped you or divorced you and you so, uh, yeah you record the emotion mm. so that is why it starts working on your psyche and it affects you listen method acted method. you are supposed to be in in a film and you are supposed to look exhausted so tired they can decide that two days before the shoot they are not going to yeah, eat or they are not going to sleep oh, yeah, yeah it works and so they don't sleep for two days yeah and they people have done the, that the, the, the scene yeah. and they look so tired and they, they leave the road it makes it very believable so a moment after that scene is is ended they still look weak and but, you think they are selling but, but nature also no. play, but really but do you believe nature also play a role in the characters we play let's say you're supposed to said you're supposed to play a very horrifying scene mm -hmm. and um um maybe you're shooting at night a lot of things happen in the night. <laughs> you're in the dark and you're chanting. You're calling what you're not. You're just acting. Yes. And for you know, you might call something that is something somewhere. Mm. And it mm. can trigger some spiritual flow. So whilst everybody's acting and you're there thinking you're doing a creative job and you're acting, something else takes over you. I think it's the aftermath. It's, yes. When you watch it yourself, like I did when I was in film school, I did a horror film, like a short film, short horror film. film. And after doing it, when I was directing, everything was normal. But when, when we you finished, back. and I, I watched it myself, when I get into the bathroom, the scene I shot, Paranoia. it dawns on me. <laughs> like, my own film that I did. So it's after my life, the guy who did uh, play the role of Geoffrey in Game of Thrones, uh, is it Jack uh, Gleason or something? Yeah. Jack Nicholson. No, when no it's not Jack Nicholson. Grayson. When he finished that role, he, I mean, he took a break. Yeah. But he said that he got so depressed mm. after playing that role that he didn't even feel like uh, play. That's it, that doesn't mean that he was living that kind of life, like he's been wicked and things like that. But just because looking at the whole thing that he though. played, the role he played, and watching it back, it's what got him depressed. So sometimes it's the aftermath. It's not because cameras are here, human beings are here, and you are feeling that. No, it's after watching the film, and you ask yourself that do you really did you really play that like the <laughs> psyche of it and things. Yeah. That is what plays or depresses you. Yeah, sure. Not that you go out there and 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 killing people or no. Oh no 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 no. no, no. Uh -huh. we didn't, we didn't so that, that is no, how no, it affects no, people. No, it's no. like the reflection on it. But they don't live. I don't think that any good actor should be to be living a character that they played in the movie. So looking after. at what has happened to people like Jim Carrey, um, I mean, who well we all know. And my good friend Robert Clare actually has him as um one of um he sent a list. He said a list of actors who I can never detach from the roles they play and then he mentions jim ike ice cube uh jim carrey uh, george Quay. oh he's not serious <laughs> <laughs> he, you know um you look at somebody like um jim carrey and what roles have done to him i mean it's really the roles from ace ventura pet detective to uh, the mask uh yes. to um the truman show to um you know, it's it's actually in the Truman Show that he actually plays quite a scene. Some, as for the mask, the least are the best. Even when he goes to interviews, he behaves the same way. You know, the same way. It it is quite difficult now. Based on some of these things, do you, as a director, believe it would be necessary to have psychologists on movie Mental sets? Health, yeah, there, there should be. There should be. Like I said, some people rehearse for. Uh, a month to about three months and so like the mask guy you're talking about for you know he has been camped in a certain house with a very fat pay in account which is he knows that he's going to get i don't know that so it's going and out. all his day is supposed to be programmed like the character so that he has a certain mannerism that he may not it. depart from until the film is shot yeah. and after the film is it's shot he feels that he can get out of it but it's just still playing around so that's when they need that kind of uh, therapy. therapy psychological to, to, to therapy help them, to come out to help them through but ideally like we think that People should be able to get out of, of, of <coughs> the character that they play. And so those are some of the reasons why people still think that they are in that character and things like that uh, momentarily. I mean, with time, they'll, they'll get over it. But because of the, the like, three months of just having you do having one you, same yeah. thing, somebody would have you to even eat a lot of burgers and things just to bloat. Bloat, yeah. And, and, and we, yeah. after that, that after, after, yeah, after, the, after the shoot, after the, the shoot, you will not be slim all of a sudden. You will still be fat, For meaning that you are still living the character, <laughs> but that is not... What it is, but with time you get back to shape, and so Akofa, I'm gonna take some messages okay. after the messages. I want you to, to, I mean, so what's the big deal? The public are unable to detach you from the roles that you are playing. 
is it that bad? If it is that bad, what are some of the possible effects that it could have on you? This one says, hey, George, the way you are sling on the Choco Malt LPM, no dear, be like them for take you as ambassador. <laughs> or should I get away? We saw Ohima that I admire her a lot. I've been following her since she released uh, Mimuda album. God bless her for her good works. Coming in from my brother, Aikbeni Dogbeda, inside Nungwa barrier how are you doing bro this one says there's an accident on the motorway Accra bound hashtag showbiz a to z ghana police service that's it for you please go take a look um um i i pray it's not fatal this one says um uh, you said what how many three forecasts this one is from, from the uh, wow the top down oh dear and then one crash like oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear this one says oh akofa you remind me of the character martin owilewa in the jagapi series t smart from amasaman sent that one in yeah i cannot remember martin owilewa from that jagapi series that jagapi series was simply something else it was legendary uh this one uh please do also add your names um Okay, this one is not for this show. I think it was for the news file early on in the day. Uh, okay, that's a lot. This one says, "Good afternoon, GQ. Where do you go on? Where did you go on Wednesday? Anyway, welcome to my kitchen. I know you will always ask what's cooking. I'm cooking fante fante with Banku. You are invited. Oye in a fienya. Oye, it wasn't just on Wednesday. It was all week. I was out of town for a bit. Okay, let us come back to the studio. So Akofa. The people cannot detach me from the role that I play. What's the big deal? It's not okay. No, it, it's not okay because then that is that is uh, uh, a wrong perception that they're going to have about you. If, for instance, uh, 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 Prince is playing a bad boy role and people are always going to think that he's a bad person, I mean, that's going to be detrimental to, to his... Personality and yes, his personality and, and all that. Um, there was... Um, um, what's her name? Auntie Grace's daughter, the one in New York. Oh, okay. Uh, I've forgotten her name. So come, you know, she was always playing the role, snatching husbands. Sheila Norte. Sheila, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. she was always playing such roles. Yeah. You know, typecasting again. Yeah. Anytime there's a role like that, they'll give it to her, and it it was difficult because then all, all of, everybody now thought. That is how she is. She's a husband snatcher and all that and all that. And it was making things very difficult for her. So it's not really good that they would give you that tag and think that because you play the role, uh, you are like that. As uh, Peter said, it's because we play it so well. You are able to convince the, 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 viewer. the viewer. And so once they get convinced, you know, when you're watching a movie, you 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 suspend your disbelief yes you know there's the, the suspension of disbelief yeah, and then yeah. you believe every and that's why that they can kill somebody and you go oh yeah. it's a kuno, yay. Yeah. and you know that it's just a movie yeah. they, they didn't cut off his head because the next movie is gonna appear anyway. <laughs> you know but you believe it so much so that that's why people can watch movies and cry yeah and hate, and hate people. Yes, yeah. you can hate people. Oh, I get to that. Oh, your shrewel. Get with them and pen us some crap. You know, so we we get that all the time. I, in fact, there was there was this couple that were fighting just because when I come on the screen, then the wife will yes, the the wife will turn or change the channel, and I was like, that's what I want. You. She's my favorite, and then. No, I'm okay. Hmm. So eventually, he had to go and buy a new TV. So, and when there's my when show, on it, then yes, he <laughs> will go and watch. And then it, it created trouble. I mean, that's what oh, I don't want boy. to do that. Create trouble for, for any marriage, right. you know. So, really, the audience or the viewers just have to know that it is a role. That's why we call it a role. It's a role we are playing. So, if I'm playing a drunkard or a, a, a call girl or a doctor or or mentally ill that is not who yeah. we are you know we are just portraying you know and you said something from the beginning that i didn't quite uh, agree. I agree with we we really are portraying life's experiences uh, drama is a reflection of, of life, life exactly. you know so yeah. yes it's a mirror yeah. so what we are showing really is what happens in life but that's not who we are but that's not who we are we are just showing you 
what people do, what pertains, what happens. But we just happen to do it so well that you think that really then the person must be that, be that to be able to play that way. But that's but, where training comes but in. You know, uh, Nottedria, who's with us here at um, Joy FM, Ultimate Health, has just sent me a very interesting question. And um, I think it, it begs answering. Okay. Peter, you're the director. Mm-hmm. If you wanted to cast somebody to play Ghana's president today, mm-hmm. between Prince David and I, the current president, Nana Kufuado, who would you pick among the two of us? We're the only ones left. Who would you pick <laughs> and why? I mean, if 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 I'm um, to just if the idea is casting for a Ghanaian president, no, very not a Ghanaian um, president, to... Nana Akufuado, uh-huh. President Nana Akufuado. I'll, I'll yeah, definitely you cast you. Why? Yes, because of of of, of the, the height. The height. Uh-huh. Like, uh, yes, uh-huh. So okay. does it mean, therefore, that sometimes you directors are part of the problems? You pick people based on who they already are. No. I think that no. I think that it's about like you said, it's 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 suspending disbelief. Okay, you need to make it very believable that I don't see myself uh, casting a very a giant to play the role of uh, a shorter person. Mm-hmm. You get my point? It's 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 in it's in contrast. So it doesn't even people would not even believe. They think I did director. He doesn't know his work. Like he doesn't even know. Let people talk about the look. Oh, we're on Seno. In terms of facial, but, yeah. oh, but the height and things, the, the makeup, would, yeah, makeup you can, can yeah. make sure, you look sure, like. So, 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 so that that is actually a good thing yeah. in mm. filmmaking, filmmaking to be able to look for people that have similar height, similar Quality, uh, yeah. qualities. The, the Hold the thought. I need to sign off on TV, and let me say a very special thank you to those who joined us on Joy Prime Television. Thanks so very much for being a part of Showbiz A to Z today. Do join us again next week, same time on Joy 99.7 FM and online at myjoyonline.com. But of course, show continues right here on Joy 99.7 FM. It's, you still want to see the great, wonderful people who are with us in the studio. Akofa is here, Prince is here, Peter is here. You still want to see us, then go to Facebook and of course look for joy 99.7 hashtag showbiz a to z on youtube or of course you can use the my joy online app you can download it from the um, apple store or the play store of course uh, my name is george Hui, and um, do make sure you join us again next week thank you very much we're coming back to the studio to continue the conversation but i need to go on this short break when i come peter you have the floor because um the debate is growing some people are saying producers and directors are the problems. Classical music made by Bach express God's love. Classical music made by Beethoven express God's power. Classical music made by Mozart express God's laughter. Please join Jeffrey every Thursday and Sunday, 12 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. to enjoy the very best of classical music by legendary composers here on Joy 99.7 FM. Unlock banking with biometrics and get more done in a flash. Now, you can access the Absa Mobile Banking app using your fingerprint or facial recognition. That's right. A smile or touch is all it takes. Pay bills, buy airtime, do any transaction, and so much more. Enjoy convenience from the Cutting Edge Bank designed to get things done. Download the Absa Mobile Banking app today. That's Africanacity. That's Absa. For inquiries, visit your nearest Absa Bank. Terms and conditions apply. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Winning strategies, nuggets of wisdom, unforgettable stories, all in one inspirational hour. Springboard your virtual university with Albert and Comfort Okran and guests. Planning is bringing the future into the present. A job is for the salaries, mundane, survival-oriented, and there's no passion. But a career has fulfillment, innovation, drive. A growth path is clear, and you can build step-by-step step all the way to the top. Matriculate at 7 p.m. and graduate at 8 p.m. every Sunday on Joy 99.7 FM and live on Facebook. Springboard is brought to you by Legacy and Legacy and Joy 99.7 FM and proudly sponsored by MTN, Enterprise Group, UMB Bank and Axis Pension Trust with support from the graphic business.
Classical music made by Bach express God's love. Classical music made by Beethoven express God's power. Classical music made by Mozart express God's laughter. Please join Jeffrey every Thursday and Sunday, 12 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. to enjoy the very best of classical music by legendary composers here on Joy 99.7 FM. The stage is set. The battle lines have been drawn. Are you ready to pitch your football knowledge against the boss? The boss. It's the biggest football challenge to hit your screens. Be part of the thrills, fireworks, and the excitement as three people vie to win big and chip away part of the 250,000 Ghana City's cash from the boss. The Boss TV Game Show Soccer Edition coming to Joy Prime, GTV Sports Plus, TV3, and Max TV every week starting Saturday. 10th of July, proudly brought to you by G Money from GCB Bank. G Money, Papa Naba, Tratum. The Boss TV Game Show is regulated by the Gaming Commission of Ghana. Ahima Mercy Ministries and Outreach, in partnership with Soul Brother Records and ICGC Calvary Temple, presents the Gila Experience 2021 under the theme Beyond the Veil. Performing on the night are Nasi, Sisi Chum, Francis Amu, Obapa Christie, MOG, Ahima Mercy, Guest Artist, Phil Thompson, Michael Stackey, and Prosper Ochimana. With ministration from the founder and president of the Gila Experience, Ahima Mercy, celebrating seven years of the Gila Experience, date 8th August 20. 2021 time 4 p.m. Venue ICGC Calvary Temple Sakumono Spintex Sponsors Vodafone Wilma Africa Producers of Frytor Jamar Soup Alive Soup and Fortune Rice Woodin Promasinor Fan Milk Awake Mineral Water Lucozid Yaz Standard Chartered Bank Trillium Industries Ghana Unilever Papa Spitza Dance World Services Adonko Next Level and Perfection Kaya Tours and Silver Star Media Partners Joy FM Joy News Adum FM Adum TV Joy Prime Love FM and Shira FM MyJoyOnline.com High with the biggest entertainment show south of the Sahara. It's Showbiz A to Z. GQ's in the seat. Hey! George is on joy. Music from the Western Diamonds band. They call this one Passenger. Check with your time. It's five gone after five on Joy 99.7 FM. It's Showbiz A to Z. In the studios, I've got the beautiful Akofa Ejani. My brother, Prince David, is here. And director extraordinaire, Uncle Peter Sedufia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eh, eh. Oh, you don't like the uncle. You don't like the uncle. 75 years. Yeah, no, 76, actually. <laughs> Yes, Peter. So you had the floor before the break. Yeah, so, yes. Okay. So, so in in in, in casting, you yeah. ask yourself: Are you casting someone who can act the role, or someone who is the role? Okay. If I'm casting someone who is the role, it means I'll be casting Akufuado himself. Let, let let me quickly do this before you okay. go, and um, pardon me, my bad, listeners. Um, well, if you just tuned in, we've been discussing the roles actors play and the toll that it takes on them. And just before the break, I made reference to a, a message that has been sent to me by um not, from Nortedria, and Nortedria was um asking. He actually asked me, would I ever be cast to play? A tall man, the role of a tall person, and that was why I situated it in that um, analogy regarding looking for somebody to play the role of Ghana's current president. Whether you'd pick me or pick Prince David or say, and you chose you'd pick me, and you're given your reasons, yeah, and I'm I mean, saying that is part of the problem. So, so now the the question is very defined. <laughs> mm-hmm. If I can cast it to play a tall person, 
points are there are people shorter than you. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, so, uh, so, 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 yes. so, 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 if you want us to stick by the no, first, no, no. The first. If, if you want to go that way, then you are putting me into a draw smart space because <laughs> it doesn't get any shorter than this. <laughs> so, so, like I was saying, so when you are casting, ask yourself, am I casting someone who is the role or who can act the role? Mm-hmm. So, if I want to cast someone who is who is the role, then I will be casting the president himself, which is going to be difficult to 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 get. Well, I'm casting someone who can act the role, which is uh, George Quay. Mm-hmm. And like even previously, I was I was uh, talking about the method actor and then the, yeah. the classical actor. The classical actor acts the role, while the method actor tries to be the role. The role. More like it's the role. Uh, yeah, it's the role. You get my point. And so that, that's the difference. So, so for a director, which would you prefer? I think that they all work. There's not like the which is the best approach. They're okay. all good. Okay, but it's it's it's, it's the preparation. Which is best for the actor? Mm-hmm. You see, that's how, that has got to do with the actor. For the director, you are watching to see what they've brought because they will do their own preparation, exactly. have their own understanding, yeah. their interpretations. Yeah. Some of them will even go overboard and things like yeah. that. Then yeah. when they come to you, the director, you decide that okay, this is a bit over, or this is under. So let's try to catch up this way or that way. So for the director, we, we I don't think that that a director should even have. Uh, 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 otherwise, you will just be restricting the actor. Yeah. The actor is not a method actor. He said. Uh, just do, you have to use a method acting approach. No, no, you are just trying to even stifle them. So we are open mm-hmm. to anyone that is best for the for the. For Ak- Akofa, you are coming in, but add this to what you are about to say. My friend Robert Claire sent a message. Says, can we also talk about Edikoko, for example? Sometimes we, the viewers, don't want to detach the character from the role. How can Idikoko, after several years of um, character play, that comical character, go and act as a president in another movie and I will take that role seriously? Unfortunately, that's the... Yeah? <laughs> it, 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 it happens. Like, like Wache playing a serious role. Yeah. You know, then people are like, oh, really? You know, because when you play a comical role for so long yeah. and people are used seeing you in, in that, that role. In, in such roles. Now, when you're playing the serious they roles, difficult. they find it very difficult to accept guess, um, and to, to identify. But is it their you. fault? Well, that is why you shouldn't get stuck in playing the same kind of role all the time. Except, like, you're a comedian. Everybody knows you're a comedian and you do, you're do you doing comedy. That's your thing. Yeah. You know, then everybody knows, oh, these are comedians. Yeah. But the same thing. So if that comedian now starts playing a serious rule it's like there's a conflict mm-hmm. yeah there's a conflict with with the, with the audience but mm-hmm. i was going to say something about uh, what peter what you said yes. actually i don't think that the uh, directors should be have to be blamed for anything at all so you have to be true to the script mm. you have to be true to the story that is the role of the director and the actors you have to live it and be true to it so if this character has to look 40 years old, you have to look 40 years old. Mm-hmm. If the character is 60 years old, you have to look 60 years old. That's you can't sense. be... Everything you do has to match what the character is supposed mm-hmm. to do. I can't be saying, uh, I'm tired. And they say, oh, Prince, I'm tired. <laughs> you know, yeah. and yes, no. if you're tired, your expression, the way you say it, your body language, She's everything tired. will say that you're tired. So it's just a matter of being that good, being trained, knowing what you have to do at what time. And this method acting and classical acting, acting thing, if I'm your acting coach, I would, I would teach you the differences. Yeah. Or if I'm having a master class, I would teach you the differences and i would tell you personally yes i do some method acting sometimes but for me why would i want to go hungry for two days just to portray that i'm hungry and weak when can't just act it you know how it feels like to be hungry. You know how it is like to be, to be, to yeah. be. Uh-huh. Yes, but you can. You can still apply it. So it depends on your 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 is it your level of yeah, that's your range. Yeah. Yes. Your you, range, yes. Character. You mm. must you must have that wide range. Yeah. So you don't necessarily do more of the method. A lot more of the method acting probably is what causes people to go in too deep. Yeah. And then now it's 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 difficult to to come back. So 
I won't advise too much. It is good at certain times. Certain yes, it makes it very yeah. come to life. Very, very, yeah. I, as I said, I, I, I apply that sometimes. Mm. That if you do that all the time, because you see that that uh, uh, goes to the memory of emotion thing. Yeah, memory, and so yes, memory. so if every time you're calling it, you're calling it something happened that was terrible traumatic to you and you are recalling it every time every time just reliving it again and again and again then in the long run you are going to uh, go bananas before david come in i mean uh, with mm -hmm. Vera, yeah mm -hmm. um, uh, the lead girl uh, Vera yes. Lynn, yeah alexandra yeah when she had to cry i wanted to enhance her cry give her facilitating he says no peter i want to do it myself myself oh what what kind of facilitation were you going so, to so kick she, in her? She, she just goes to her phone and after she reads some message no, her text message that. and, and then to cry. she uh -huh. starts crying and she says she, she's ready I'm ready and then <laughs> so, and she cries, she cries wow. like this is it's oh. crazy, really, you see? <laughs> did, did you get a chance to see the message of course I, I i i she made me she made me say oh, okay she it was a say. relationship related eh? exactly forgive me eh? but i just want to express we're, how we're good sure how, 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 how well you made use of 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 that, of that yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, and and it came because i wanted to help her at the point of not coming I wanted to help her she says no she wants to do it naturally so you could see that I mean, that was a first feature film. Yeah. But you could already see a method actor a method in here. There's yeah. someone who would want to get it from the depth deeper than just... But like I said, they're all good. It's just the, the actor's approach. How do you want to prepare for the role? That so, is it. So she delivered the crime very well. She delivered it like seamlessly. And she was paid for her role. She was paid for her role. <laughs> do you think the boy who sent the message should be paid too? No. For, no. Indu for inducing a crime. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Or should be arrested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a uh, priest says something about all, all sorts of other forces. Yeah, <laughs> also come to play, to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it is possible. Mm -hmm. It's possible that uh, uh, Jim Curry or yeah, uh, Christopher Lee, the, the, the dragon, you know, all those roles he was playing. Now look at that, movie, that horror movie. That, uh, Dracula. Yes, Dracula. Dracula. You know, and so if you keep playing these rules obviously you get in tune with nature nature will <laughs> you call know? you on this so if at the end you're so see actors that's what a lot of you don't know most actors are so spiritual you have no idea you think it's a joke you have no idea i remember when we we're shooting expectations in kumasi yeah the, there were this witchcraft scene mm. and we're playing it at night mm. under this big tree it's setting the tone Masa, <laughs> the prayers we had to do we were fasting, we were praying before we go on set. You know, because you're really playing what is perceived that... Uh, it's witchcraft, it's evil. Yeah, yeah, the, the, you're, you're the, the, the timing, the, time, the, tree. the tree, everything, you know. Do you know there were days we go on set and for no reason the lights will go off yeah, and we call. can't shoot? Oh yes, you try with For it. no reason. You know, yes. Hmm. We can't shoot. Then we'll come back the following night and you don't go and pray. But some of them are coincidences, but just uh, yeah, well, you know, if you know. Well, no, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 action it's, 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 action and reaction are equal that's and open. Right. Sometimes, Sometimes, yes. Yes. <laughs> this uh, one says, not only do the characters find it difficult to get out of character, the viewers, particularly children and vulnerable adults, take on the characters of the people they watch in movies. They are not able to distinguish between reality and fiction. Some people drop out of school because they learned truancy or other deviant characters from the dramas and movies they watched <laughs> the viewers are also not who they are they just watch someone do it and believe they could and should copy the characters they watched these are not things you wish away sometimes professional psychiatrists need are needed to get viewers and actors out of character <laughs> Eunice from East Legon so Eunice is trying to tell me that for me and my family or my family and I to be able to enjoy a good movie and ensure we don't get influenced negatively or affected by the characters we watch, especially the children, I should pay a psychologist to sit in my house. I don't get it. No, but that's okay. why movies me... are rated. Yes. Okay. That's why movies are rated. So there's PG, then there's 18, then there's... Okay. Uh, uh, yes, there's, I, there's I know mute, how, there's I know how... violence how you know movies have effect on the viewers okay mm. the reason i'm saying this even as an actor i've had a movie had an effect on me me mm. the actor that i know all the dynamics now i don't know if you've seen training day yeah yeah mm. yeah i, the, the, I just didn't like denzel i was so mad at him 
He was so wicked, and my this is actor. yeah, this is my hero. But watching uh, Training Day, I'm like, what kind of guy is this? But at the end of the day, he was just portraying a character. Mm. You know, King Conan got nothing on me. It was it was so good a character that you know, I just you know I just had to hate him in that movie. So just imagine a viewer who doesn't even have. You, the, you mean you you hate people who do that? Yes, people who do that yeah. exactly. So, so imagine you know, me the actor, role. yeah, playing that role. So imagine a viewer who doesn't have the discipline that I have as an actor, obviously. So you know, so to some extent, whichever way you see it, we're always going to have an effect. It depends on the viewer's psyche and, uh, you know... But, but Prince, they, could, could it be because you have put Denzel in a certain light? Because mm -hmm. when I watched um, um, Training, uh, Day. Training Day and I watched um, American Gangster, Gangster and I watched Two Guns, I mean, really, I wasn't surprised at what uh, Denzel did in Training Day. The treachery. You, uh, the, you understand? The, you know, the <laughs> uh, have you seen the other two that I mentioned? Have you seen yeah, American yeah, Gangster? Seen it, yeah. You've seen Two Guns yeah, yeah, and all those things. Guns, so yeah. why should you be surprised... At what Denzel did in Training Day? Um, to some extent, you see, the, the betrayal and treachery in that characterization <laughs> was just too much. So I was like, okay, even if you're going to be that wicked, come on now. And he was so on point. So he did a good job, so he had an effect on me. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's what I'm saying. So, saying. so, so when we deliver, have to when we deliver then obviously we'll have an effect on the viewer. Yeah. It's, there's no yeah, two ways yeah, about it. And like, like funny enough, like unfortunately, I mean, people at home, we are really sorry. There's, there's not much we can do t to, yeah, we, yeah. to uh, except to regulate. <laughs> is it to regulate, like to make sure, yeah, like a censorship. Censorship. Yeah, yeah. to censor. Yeah, censorship. Yeah. Censorship. Yeah. Censorship. Yeah. Censorship. Yeah. censorship. Yeah, there's not. censorship. 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 If they tell us about some of those problems, we can see how we can talk to them to overcome some of them. But in the, I don't even know how many people are watching to even send a psychiatric. To their homes, to their homes. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> this one says, good evening, George and everyone. I think the way an actor looks is an advantage to be cast, especially in this part of the world where there is so much finance to make a character either slim or fat as you may want it. And sometimes the directors tend to make the actors static. When they play, when they play a role very well, they tend to use, when you play a certain role very well, they tend to use you for that role all the time. Yes, Akofa mentioned that. And that one is the fault of the director or producer. And actors should also be versatile. But looks, it's an advantage. That one is um, a pessary from a shy man sends okay. that one in. Okay, George, it's just like football, yeah? No, wait, we before you go into the football, okay. have you had... A, has there ever been a role? Same question I asked Pusha. Yeah. I did say I would ask both yeah. of you. Akofa and, and Prince. And Prince, you first. Have you ever had to turn down a role for fear of what it might do to you in real life? Oh, not necessarily fear of what it would do to me in real life. I just felt I wasn't okay with the role. Because um, it was a gay role and I had to carry a guy into the bed. And I just I wasn't just comfortable with that. So it wasn't even about acting. It's just like my me personally, I wasn't comfortable. And... I couldn't do it. Yeah. So Pusha also turned down a homosexual related role. You also turned down a homosexual related role. Yes, because I knew if you see, as we rightly said, it's acting. If I acted, I'd do very well. And at the end of the day, they'll say it's me. So I'd rather not even approach it. So wait. So so so, so wait. Would you prefer you were associated with womanizing than associated with being homosexual. Okay, so watch this. I'm a man. Every man likes a woman. Uh, presumably. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's no man that likes another man. I don't know about that, but every man likes a woman. That's how nature has created it. Adam and Eve. Uh, you, so, we'll so obviously, even if I'm not acting, I will like women. Okay. It's, I mean, so you okay. are saying that you like women? Yes, I like women. Not in the sense. Not in that, that sense in that you are thinking, uh, because, because at the end of the day, to, if I check my <laughs> followership, the people that follow me were more are the women. It's the women who buys my movies. The women that will tell another lady, when would your prince are here? A guy doesn't care. He might even see me and get angry because he thinks I'm always on screen and I'm looking all nice, and chasing his girlfriend. girlfriend. Uh-huh, that's the perception. So the women are the family. If the women don't like you, you struggle. Ha, ha, have any, has any man... Ha, when when Jesus Christ, when when Jesus Christ came... <laughs> Jesus, it was the women, alabaster boss. Hallelujah, the women that my were brother. Anointing his feet. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Even in elections, it's the women. Thank you. It's the, the, the women. women. So if you don't have the women on your the side, women. you struggle. The women. Are I come for how about you? Have you ever had to turn down a role for fear of what it might do to you? A, a long time ago, I think I even had uh, some scripts a long time ago, but it had to do with dwarfs <laughs> and those things, and and I think I was just scared to oh, okay. to to get. 
what, 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 you, why are you discriminating ready. against people like us, dwarfs? Why? Why you <laughs> no, don't no, like, like us? Real, no, he dwarfs. Yes, is, uh, is that not what yeah. we call it? Yes, yeah. we are here. Yeah. I think I hadn't matured spiritually. Oh, okay, so you're now the to way. Zone. I, I, uh -huh. So at that time, I, I wasn't too comfortable. I thought it was too the mistake and everything around it. So yes, mm. I, I turned it down because of that. But if it were now, I would have played You would have played it. Peter, has any actor or actress turned down a role you have for whatever? And the reason is, um, I fear what it might do to me after, or I don't want to be associated with this for ABC reasons? No, but no, no. I mean, I've had actors turn down roles. No, no. Rose, not because of the are busy pitch. the schedule no, no, of low no. No, the schedule <laughs> <laughs> because of because of schedule, the schedule. Oh, I, I, you know that I mean I mean no, it's, I not, it's not a Hollywood pay but no, no, I I pay quite it's good uh, so so <laughs> so it has to do with schedule and yeah. it it has been conversation oh Peter I'm really sorry oh, I wish, wish I can you yeah. move it to this day I said, oh because of this other person's schedule we cannot move it to that day so and I'll oh okay then we agreed I have to take it okay then the next project fair enough then we move on so that has been not because oh I don't like this show I don't think I mean I've had actors have reservation about certain role mm -hmm. but after having discussions and explaining to them so how I'm going to go it. about it I'm going to treat it as mm. a director they take it on. All right, so Prince, I, I want to find out. Um, I know a lot of us, a lot of the decisions we make are based on our upbringing, our background, and the fear of what society might think and all those things. Yeah. I am looking at a certain trend here. So I mean, we can't deny the fact that. Just like every Ghanaian footballer, you are going to give a football yeah. example. So let me, every Ghanaian footballer want to play international soccer. If yeah. you're playing Accra Hatsuvuk, you may want to play Manchester United sure. or something like that. Every actor may want to make a strong step into Hollywood. Yeah? Uh, bigger money, bigger exposure. You have the world at your fingertips and all that. So you're telling me that if, say, James Cameron mm -hmm. contacted you, Prince David or say, yeah. through maybe Peter or something, and says, look, uh, we are coming to do a sequel to whatever, any of his movies. And uh, I have a role for you. And in one scene, you kiss a man. We're paying you a million dollars. You turn it down? I will gladly turn it down. Um, we, we prepare for where we are going, not where we are. There's a future ahead of me. There are a lot of things I want to do. So sometimes we make certain decisions, not because of where we are, but where we're going. So in other so words, the not roles, I will, I will not even listen. The it's roles not, you take are not influenced by money. Is that what you're saying? It's the passion that drives me in the first place. I'm into the acting because of the passion. It's the passion that drives me to do what I do. That so the money it's not the come. money? No, no, it's not about the money. It's Akofa, the which do you think about first when a role is offered to you? Is it the money or no, they, the character? They all know that for me, it's, it's not the passion. money. It's, it's always... It's, it's always. Oh, we did that single for a while. It was a passion. <laughs> It all, it's always a fashion. It's always and a the fashion. And, and, the, the, and the script. Because I've turned down some scripts because... I mean, it's so all hollow. <laughs> <laughs> so empty and they were paying so empty. Like, they it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't matter that if you're paying me higher than another script. If your story doesn't make... You know, one thing I... I my fans love me. Okay? Yeah. Now, you need to respect your fans. Yeah. So, if, if you realize, I'm not just in anything and everything. Because these are the same people who watch you. The people who love you. But you have to give back respect them so you can't just be in anything just for the sake of it so i look at the script and i look at the the story the lessons in it and all that those are the things i look at first accepting, accepting the, script the script before uh, we even talk about it looks like a lot of people are interested in this conversation so let me open the <laughs> phone lines then peter you can continue okay. our phone lines are open 0302-216-541 you can be a part of this convo uh, 0302-216-541 oh, please go like, ahead like peter David, yeah. David said like he will turn down the role okay yeah. but there are some directors that think or the cast director that think that david is the one that is fit for this role exactly i like his mannerism i like his 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 posture i like his his yeah. physique and so what we call, we call uh, the role negotiation, okay? Yeah. You can go back to David and say, David, what, what don't you like? Like why, about this role? Okay. On this role? Okay. David will tell instead of kissing him on the lip, because they said they want, he wants to be, you know, they, want, they still want to be a, a, a gay, gay yeah. thing. But David can say that, okay, instead of kissing him on the lip, can I just give him a peck? Yeah. 
or, or can i just him? hold his hand or hug him and things like that mm-hmm. the director will consult with the director would this still con- con- yeah, convey the okay, message is it doable and, is it doable is it, yeah okay we can adjust few things and they adjust the show to david are you comfortable with this one david says yeah this is quite manageable i can do this it does it's still the same gay thing but just that there are certain things he may not want to do like kissing or being naked online on those things make it so can gross sometimes yes sometimes negotiate negotiate and, and make it happen if you think that it's that important let me find out uh, prince in real life has a man hit on you before um that happened in london and he created a problem for who you or him me because i reacted abnormally <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know i was with some white dudes the dead the people who did the dead howard and john mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so after filming we went to a bar in a, um Croydon? brighton and hove brighton, brighton and, hove. and hove okay i didn't know it was a gay hub i was uh, ignorant so we went to this pub and we were drinking. Uh, occasionally, I see somebody touching my bum. Uh, like maybe mistake. <laughs> ah! <laughs> then, <laughs> oh, feel you. Ah! Then I turned. I saw this white guy. Feel I you. just hit him on the chest immediately. It was reflex. Then the people started coming through. Then I'm like, "Are you okay?" They, they were asking me what happened. I said, "This guy just touched." Then everybody started laughing. Yeah, I wouldn't even try. <laughs> then I was like, "Ah!" So <laughs> luckily for me, place. yeah, luckily for me, the bouncer there was a Ghanaian. You know, so he came to get me. I said, "Oh, I should look at the sign. The, sign, the name of the where I am." Then I noticed it was a gay club. Uh. Ah. Let's be a gay club. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to the phone line. I have a caller. Hello, who do we have here? Yeah, good evening. My name is Gilbert Mwati Ejari. I'm calling you from Danfakra. Gilbert, talk to us. Your thoughts on this subject matter? Yes, um, I think that um, regarding the roles that they play. I think uh, someone tested you guys that sometimes when they get to know that this person is very good at um, performing this particular role, they keep giving him the same role. But I want to know, uh, as an art, uh, like as an uh, as an actor or um, actress, do you also have a say when a script is given to you and probably the person behind it tells you that I want you to perform this role? Can you democratically re- uh, democratically reject it and say that no, I also want to play this role? Do they give them that opportunity to determine what they also want to do apart from what they've been given to do? All right, yeah, that's what I want to know. Thank you very much. You heard him. He wants to know if there's democracy in choosing what role you want to play. <laughs> oh, um, most often, it depends on the relationship you have with the, with director, the director, okay, and the producer, the okay. one bringing the money. Okay. If the one bringing the money says, "This is what I want. This is what I want you to play for me, and I'm paying you for this," uh, in some instances, if you say you don't want to play, then obviously don't be part of the production because mm-hmm. they had a reason why they chose you. Exactly. Uh, after the you know out, out of the lot, so it, it's it not easy be. like that. Okay. But Let if, me go- if, if you are not comfortable with a rule, you, you just should have always to turn, turn it down. down. Yes. Okay. Let's see who's here. Hello. 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 Good evening. Yep. Uh, good evening. Your name and where you're calling us from? Um, I'm a question. I'm calling from a shy man. Yes, I read your message earlier. Go ahead and talk to us. Yeah, I, I want to also contribute on my message. Go ahead. Uh, like I said, uh, I think sometimes when an actor plays a role better, the directors, the producers, they, they, they tend to give that person that particular role. For instance, we have uh, Precious Ozokwa from Nigeria, who, who Africa's number one witch, as a witch several times, played Africa's as a number one witch several times, and then other directors, other producers, will see her, and then they feel like, oh, this one plays this role better. Even uh, John Okafor, Mr. Ibu, they see that this guy plays like a mumu guy, and then they feel like, oh, if we put this guy in that role, he will play it better. So they tend to go for those people, try to make them static actors instead of trying to change them to become versatile actors. And then, because the actors, the, some of them also want um, the, the role, some of them want the fame, some of them want certain opportunities from there, they will also go for it. And then they, they become static. So when you give them other rules for... They are unable to deliver. Other rules, they feel like... People, people don't see the other rules, the other characters in them anymore because they are, they, they've seen them consistently playing that particular role. Exactly. So I think the, the problem also lies in the directors and the producers sometimes. And then the actors also have their own problems. Thank you very much, Akwesri. Let us go back. Let's see who we have here. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello, George. Yes, sir. Uh, name uh, and where are you calling us from, please? Well, I'm at East Legon. I'm talk, Gideon. Talk. Gideon, uh, talk George, to us. I, I missed the greater part of the show, but uh, I listened to the conversation about the impact it has on 
people who yes, watch sir. movies. Yes, sir. I used to be a continuity man um, okay. back in the day. And a doctor actually drove a whole crew out of Confanochi. Um, and his point was that the movies at the time that they were producing were full of insults. And wow. so his daughters or his children have begun to mimic or insult people anyhow with the things they hear on TV. So it is a contribution to the actors and the directors that at least they also be mindful of the things they say, even though it's rated. I heard Akofa say that and Debbie say that sometimes it is under 16. And yet the things in it, the children will pick it up and then go along with it. So indeed, it has an impact on the viewers. So I say hi to Spidey and then Akofa as well. Thank you very much. We'll take one more call before we come straight into the studios for reactions to what we've heard so far. Hello. Let's see who's here. Okay, the person is gone. Let me take this message. Greetings to you and your panel in the studio. Talking about characters that audience can take away from the personality of the actor. There is this actor in the north that is called Zimbo. He has his name, but most people don't know it because Zimbo has struck with the people and he has haters because he is mostly playing the role of a gangster. Until recent times that has been casted to play the role of a normal or nicer character. It's good to embody the character, but don't remain in the character. Manzuru from Laboni sent that one through. Hello. Hello. Yeah, Mr. Jokui. Yes, sir. Your name and where are you calling me from? Yeah, please, this is Lukwan from Teshinungwa. Talk to us, br brother. Yeah, thank you very much. Please, I would like to find out, uh, is there any time that the, the play gets overboard, especially when a woman and a man is on bed, acting as if they are doing something? Is there any time that I get overboard? Because sometimes it looks like so real to a extent that those of us who are viewing it may think it is real. Uh, Thank are, you. Are you saying you think it is real or you feel like joining them? <laughs> sometimes you even feel like you, you wish you were the one acting. Uh huh. Now you're speaking <laughs> the truth, my brother. <laughs> Let me take one more call before we come. Hello? Hello, George. Good evening. Good evening. Your name and where you're calling us from? from Tema. Oh, my brother. Talk to us. I think the romantic thing in Africa, we don't add it to because in the foreign films, you see that the guy is back. Mm -hmm. You see his chest. Yes. And I'm saying, what is there? Because sometimes I get a bit worried. They say the camera men are in the room, stuff, but how they show their back and the the same thing, I'm get get sorry. I'm asking they they choose say difficult thing. So ask for me, I want to pick this difficult thing. I want to act. They have the, the touch like that. So this this script is too small. I should go and learn it more. So I'm going to do something that is more higher than the script they have given to me. I mm -hmm. need to do that. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, I'll ask them. Let me come. There's a message here. Uh, Prince, this is for you. They said, Hi, George. I don't like Prince David Ose and Matankuma for a role they played. They were having sex all around in the movie. Reggie Pope from Dansoman. I don't know what will make me like them. Uh, Reggie, my worry is which of them do you have a crush on? Is it Prince or, uh, 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 or, or hey, Mata? He's hating me for playing with Mata. <laughs> but is that true? You did that to Mata? No, you see, uh, hmm. that's, that's it's interesting. Oh. Somebody wants to know. Uh, Peter, no, do no. They, does it ever get out of hand? No. Sex scenes. I'll answer yes or no to that. But oh, so uh, it no, possibly saying, gets out of yes hand. Yes or no. Like I'm saying, that I'll give you the answer very soon. Okay. But when, when actors are on set mm -hmm. and they're directors, they have only one job. To make sure that everything that comes out of that place looks real. As real believable. as possible. Believable. Yeah. And so if you say that, Oh, really? It doesn't look. We have failed, but the moment you feel like it's real, and you're like, "Eh, we have, we have succeeded." And so that is our job. How we do it? I don't think it's even our job to even tell you right. this thing. But <laughs> what we can say is that some, of, most of them are just make believe. Mm -hmm. They are not like people actually having sex. So it never gets out of hand. No, no, no. There I'm has not. never been an instance where they have carried it from this action to. Oh, those are two adults. No, no. Because that's okay. one has not come on I mean, camera. From experience, I've been <laughs> doing this for like. 16 years and i've played most of these roles it doesn't get out of hand they they, they like to cast you for those roles eh? because i'm good he's at handsome. it he's uh, handsome no, 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 no it's not and because he's good at it he has a the physique and aside, the face aside the physique people have sex every day in their homes but I, 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 <laughs> no, no, no 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 wait I cover, me what do i have i don't have physique. you do no it depends on the, uh, <laughs> the 
No, 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 no. <laughs> the you should be offended. Ah, can you? I'm okay. to see where he's going. Eh? I'm getting offended. So I'm okay to where he's going. Okay. It's a man and we're coming. Okay. okay. So, Are so, you saying we let no, me you comment? No, you do. You do. Oh, but George, you know you're handsome. Uh, you articulate uh, uh, No, but point, that's you know? easy. Look, I look, look at it. Look, based on the, the specifications and the, and, the, and the demands of the script. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some people okay. like one pack and people. So okay. Yeah, okay. funny enough. Some people so like it, that. It depends on demands of the script, really. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> so you were kissing Mata Nkuma? No, so I was saying, Mata and I are like sisters. We've acted for a long time. A lot of people see me, they get angry and say, I've, I, I don't even know how to say it. I don't even think I've, um, how do I put it? it? It hasn't gone beyond the acting and no, 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 mm. no, 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 no. Because most often when you're acting with these girls, some of them, they don't even like you. But you see that way. They are not in for those things. It's just action, cut, and everybody goes. You might try something and you'll be so embarrassed and offended. They don't. They don't, George, don't. George, let me tell you something. Tell there, us. there are times that you even want two actors to kiss. Mm -hmm. And they as don't characters. want to do it. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they will go back and forth about I it. And this one doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> this one doesn't want to kiss and things whoa, like whoa, that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you get my yeah. point. <laughs> but at the end of the day, when you have a discussion, you have a conversation with them and they agree that, okay, you will do it. When they are doing it, it looks so real. Like, But before that, there have been some contention. They don't take it because you know, <laughs> there's some friction there. Exactly, yes. but in and the end, it comes out, out as real. <laughs> and listeners, and the, and the Dossi just walked into the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and the Dossi looks like he has some dossier on Prince. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> they, they, these intimate scenes. I yeah. mean, really. Uh, those days when we were watching movies at uh, Ghana Films. Yeah. The, yeah. Not the Gamma. executive. The, yeah. the yeah. other room. Come on, yeah. I think it was a premiere or something, and I was in there. Mm. I've forgotten the title of the movie. But then I was supposed to go in the shower and have a shower. Come and see insults. Hey. Oh, but was that when we shot I, I Sing of a Well? <laughs> insults, yes. Insults. Hey, and I was married. Hey, you know about where you know about for? And I said, hey, you know, and where you know, one of your eight. And the thing is, they shot it from my upper, is it upper toes? So, so, yeah. Mm. Yeah. so up here. And then, the and then they did from my ties down. down. So as you were saying that we don't even have to tell how, the, how, how they shot. But I yeah, think that sometimes we should yeah. so that they know that, get to know that mean, it's there's nothing. nothing to it. So we wear our Leica, like yeah. the biker shorts. Yeah. You're wearing the biker shorts. You're wearing a tube top. You know, so there's nothing anybody is seeing. See. It, it, it's it, I said that it, it's it's del delusional, you know. Like I said, you suspend your disbelief and you believe everything. So so long as you're seeing the ties and you're seeing your imagination the goes back, wild, and so know. your imagination just follows. So we are in bed. And you see the underwears and the bra. You know we do that. We throw it and around the dresses yeah, through, yeah. and then we are under the sheet. So your mind tells you that it's we are naked something has happened. and something is going on and of course because we are acting the morning the the actions everything that you know is what mm -hmm. is done so you believe it but there's nothing to it if two people after the scene decide that they want to fall in love or they want to go hear yeah, that's some problem. that that's is problem. their own Wahala. problem uh, but it does not happen on set i know a couple of people that have gotten married just for meeting, that's that's for meeting on set. On set. After so, one kiss. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, talking so about if kiss. if the attraction yeah. uh -huh. was there and you carry it on after, on after that is that's your the own the thing. But okay. on set with all those people around, come on. Uh, Prince, hold on one sec. Before I come, so so you kissed Matan Kuma? Yes. Okay, so okay, you let me forward. <laughs> I, was, I was going to tell you something. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so this is the philosophy I live with. We act with different people almost in every movie. Mm -hmm. Let's say the next movie, I'm acting with uh, Sister Koffa. Yeah. The next movie, I'm acting with Yvonne. Can I sleep with all of them? So, it, it, it's just acting. A lot of people yes, say, go can. like, oh, you've, you've done this. Well. I said, no, it's just acting. Uh, because and and you... I, might, I might not want to kiss. Uh, yes, there are people who do not so want to kiss if, you. So, if it's... Um... Uh, Peter, who is directing, directing, I'll go to Peter. Some of the directors uh -huh. will insist they want a real a French real. kiss. So I can go to Oh, Peter so sometimes the kiss is actually real. It is actually... No, I mean, sometimes you some, put your lips on the person, some, whatever. Some, I see know. some doing real kissing these days. Uh, you know. uh, uh, Prince, let's use yours with uh, <laughs> Mata as an example. Yes. How was it? Was it real or oh, semi-real? Most, most often, it's not real like deep town kissing or no, no, a scene is alive. No, 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 no. Okay. No. You Maybe you bend in such a way that the camera... Shows it like you're, you're turning your neck and something like that. No, no, don't tell us what is usually done. Tell us what you did. Yes, even me, for instance, uh -huh. sometimes I don't want to kiss certain people. 
No, no, I the one with Mata. <laughs> which movie? We've done a lot of movies. Uh, the kissing one. Which one did you did you actually kiss her, or was it on the? Uh, I, I mean, oh. lip, lip to lip. Maybe lips meeting lips, but um, it's not like I'll kiss my wife. I don't know. Are you but married? I'm not doing love making. It's acting. So do ah, you understand? You are married. I've been married. Hey, George. I didn't know. You didn't this is my ring. I've been married with three kids. Bro, apart from the not so adequately <laughs> remunerated space, those of us trained for this space have to forfeit it for corporate careers because of the stigma of the character oh, you play. So Some of us are inconsistent in this space due to this. I won't take any womanizing role regardless of the offer on the table. I have agreed with my wife and promised not to. In other words, if the money was good, she will take those roles for me, Abby. Too much stigma for too little reward, except for the passion. And that one is coming in from Beneficiation. Yes. Um, who... so it's a passion that drives you. But, yeah. um, but uh, the education needs to go out there. Because um, if we say we are portraying a character, then obviously we have to... Like I see a lot of people yeah, yeah. acting movies and um, they have duvets covered all over themselves and they say they are making love. Who makes love like that? It's not realistic. So if, okay. you're, if you're an advent filmmaker and you really want to do a movie, tell a story... Then you have to say it as it is. Other than that, then don't do it. Cause I mean, this one says um, with the Idikoko issue, comedians and comedians, plain and simple. So you can't necessarily cast a comedian for a period of film where a dignitary is the star. Filmmaking is a profession. Filmmaking as a profession is very technical, and um, it's unfortunate our fans tend to think what they think. We understand they can't help it, but we too can't help it. We need them to believe <laughs> what we're yeah, saying in the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, should yeah. just enjoy it and be open-minded. The Thank witchcraft you. things, dear. Mm -hmm. Well, acting also has to do with psychology. Most people who can get out of character, it's mostly mental. A mental health problem they were not aware of. Uh, this, uh, uh, is that true? It's, it's possible, I, I, yeah. I think I'm, I'm inclined to align with this. This, this, one. this, this line know, of it, said, it, depends, it yeah. depends on the emotional state you're in, yeah, at, you're the in time. at the time. So, if the actor is having challenges on account of a role they play, then they have a challenge distinguishing reality from fantasy, make believe. This could be indicative of deeper issues. That one is from Naughty Dre. It sort of connects with the first one mm -hmm. that it could be psychological. So, it comes back to what I asked earlier. Do actors sometimes need psychologists by them on set for very, very demanding roles? If you can afford it, it's very good. Why shouldn't the try. director be the one to have it for the actor? No, the director, no, director, the, the director has just been had like you, the actor, by then producer. the producer. The director mm. might not necessarily yeah, like, own the movie. Because, because the director even may need a psychologist. Himself. Yeah, himself. <laughs> because he's also <laughs> going through the process that the actor is going through. Yeah. This one says, uh, yes. So, Chris Safo sent a message. I'm finding that difficult to, 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 to say, to, um, you know, that you really need a psychologist. A psychologist. Really? Here's a message. That, I think that you, you sometimes... You, you need, maybe like, after you like visit. Just yeah. a baby and having a, 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 a midwife or a nurse around. Yeah, thing like too. that. It's, 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 Sometimes it tells, yeah, There's an interesting message here from Sukrit Safo. He says, it depends on how well you play the role. Check Arnold Schwarzenegger in Twins and Rumble in Oscar. Comic movies played by s people mm -hmm. perceived Serious to be action, solid yeah. action mm -hmm. heroes. Mm -hmm. It worked because they play the roles so well. If you are able to purge yourself from your comfort zone, you can do it and do it well. It's just like a defender playing a striker or a goalkeeper striking in a football match. No wonder someone would John wears no matrices. <laughs> the, 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 only the, the only striker in the world who has defended <laughs> you know yeah 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 okay so um your messages are still coming in this one says good evening george my name is fidelis from teshi all i want to know is that if the big movie stars uh, i want to know if big movie stars also audition for roles we've heard a big hollywood stars audition for roles before they get to act in Ghana, um, uh, Peter, do the big stars also have to audition? Uh, yeah, we do. We they yeah, do. You do. I mean, I mean, of course, some of them, some <coughs> of them, I mean, do. I might be very blunt. Some of them also feel they shouldn't be auditioned. But the truth is that sometimes you also need to understand that they've reached a certain status. So you have private auditions for them. Yeah, one on one. They'll, they'll, they'll come, yes, they'll come, and then you have that. And but there are some also that go for open call audition oh yeah, and yeah. They, I, I did they, that in Hollywood go there and they get auditions. and they get yeah. there they give you a tag like you that. stand in a line you get my point <laughs> it's your turn you go in and, and there are some yeah. that their agents even lobby for them to have an audition, audition. so they go because every every even, even if the director or the casting director think you are the 
person They've for seen the role. Real or they will still they want to, to have that audition with you to be able to prove that you are the you person are for the role. Yeah. The right. So they go for auditions. If, if you are an actor worth your salt, any any actor who is a true artist understands and knows why he has to go for audition. audition. Is this people, this diva diva thing Pride, that get, like it gets to their no, head I mean, and they think no actor is too big to, no, no, to no, go no, for no. auditions. Right, when you go for uh, script reading, table read, uh, things. no, 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 we want to show up. They want to really? come on the set uh, and then come and act the role. No, oh, we all do that. that. Yeah. Yeah. that so, somebody says, George, please, they are lying. We have been seeing them kissing real, real, real. <laughs> we can't be sand in our gallery. <laughs> where, where? <laughs> where? <laughs> we didn't deny that. We so didn't deny are, the fact that they kiss real. Some do. Some yeah. are real. Some, some are, real. are uh, 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 make, make some some are make believe. Some people tricks, can yes. decide to do it. I mean, yeah. Yes. This one says, "Hi, GQ. Will Smith has managed to play comic roles and serious roles very, very well. So I believe it depends on the actor." Mm. Okay, that's that's true. Look, even Will Smith. I think I once had an interview where he complained that the the role that he played in uh, the movie that he, no, it wasn't that. The movie that he was black alone. Black. No, there's a movie that he was alone. Pursuit. No, ah, okay, okay, no, 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 no. I, I am well, legend. I am legend. legend. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I am yeah, legend. Okay. Yeah, it kind of took a, a mm. bit of a toll on him. And Leonardo DiCaprio also complained yeah. about the role that he played in The Revenant. It won him an Oscar. Leonardo is a psycho. He suffered, you know. <laughs> a psycho. You know, he had to suffer for it. Okay, uh, this one says, George, what person? Why are you on Prince? Reg- I shocked, I shocked <laughs> I'm not on Prince. <laughs> but, but, but I am you not see, on Prince. You see, George, <laughs> yes. you know, Hollywood, eh, it's, it's a whole market. Hole. Orientation is. They, 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 they even believe in, in, in the way they get value for, for themselves is also uh, the gimmicks and things like that. Yeah. If I go and tell people that this role I played had this tool, it's like, whoa. They see a psychologist yeah. there, yeah, you know. Wow. You also get this a guy took it, so They see you a certain, a certain, a certain way. Yeah. The, the, you know, they embellish the whole thing. Yeah, that's the, the brand. You and and yeah. so some of them... So, Psychologists it's need it's to be paid. They need to get jobs. So yeah, they're yeah, giving them jobs. Them it's when it's we it's come back yeah. from this last break, I'm about to take out, let all of you give your final thoughts on mm. this and um, how we can draw a fine balance between what actors should see, uh, what um, uh, viewers should see and how they should perceive it and the roles that actors can also play to be able to get people to, you know, see them as normal human beings and understand the fact that it is just roles that they are playing because i kind of like the example with the Arnold schwarzenegger and the rumble one because these are out and out action heroes but they play very very nice you know responsible comic roles characters. comic characters and we're able to accept without any problems mm-hmm. though in ghana we still call them rumble and commando <laughs> i don't even know why we still do that we just can't call actors by their names uh, they just keep calling know, them. Yeah, Rambo, yeah, Rambo. Rambo. <laughs> Van Damme. Fellow final year students, I have good news for you. Joy Learning, your numero uno educational TV channel, is back on your screens with the award-winning revision show. Oh yeah, and with a bank and a difference. Get ready for a great teaching and learning experience with your favorite TV teachers as they take you through a totally different TV revision session as you prepare for your mock and final exam. Product of two. Minus the total product of level one hydrogen atom that has lost an electron. Liu is equal to 27 minus A. Okay, the answer is volcanology. Volcanology, one time. Thank you. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Every summary question has a specific requirement. Listen carefully. The insurance prepaid are all shown under the current asset beauty. You have the opportunity to send questions before your favorite revision show is aired through video, text, or voice messaging on all our social media platforms. On Facebook and Twitter, it's Joy Learning TV. On Instagram, it's Joy underscore Learning TV. And the TV teachers will be right there with the answers. You can watch the revision show by tuning in to Joy Learning on your multi-TV digital box every Monday to Friday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Feel free to ask mind-boggling questions on any subject thought on Joy Learning, either via phone calls, Zoom or WhatsApp video calls, or text us live on TV. Revision Show, your TV teacher everywhere. The Revision Show for SHS Final Year students shows Mondays to Fridays from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Joy Learning. Keep learning. 
Do you need a deeper understanding to things taught in your senior high school? Joy Learning SHSR is here to solve all your academic challenges. Our SHS Lessons on Joy Learning is back with more exciting and award-winning TV teachers. Dear students, in the comfort of your homes, we bring you a new classroom experience. We are going to take our time to take you through all the syllabus from A to Z. Literature inspires you, teaches and educates, of course. What will this world look like without numbers? And you see the watchy seller who has set up her watch and is selling to you, you have definitely met debt. The B is not pronounced. But we don't have the money to do so. We can also talk about specific solutions. Where people do what they want and the fittest survives. You would not have a personal identification number. Divided by 100 times 65,000. Catch your favorite TV teachers as they bring you senior high school up from Monday to Friday. SHS 1 lessons start from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. will bring you SHS 2 lessons only on Joy Learning. Joy Learning. Celebrating a year of impactful teaching and learning. Joy Learning. Keep learning. presents a new series, Love and Wealth. This is a task of choosing between love and wealth and also gives viewers the opportunity to learn about sexual health. A unique Venezuelan telenovela which tells the story of two daughters of a rich billionaire who are presented with the task of choosing between love and wealth. Watch as the rich and beautiful Zahara and her daughters navigate these critical options all in a bid to make the best choice for themselves. Come along on this journey of the ever-captivating drama and intriguing suspense in the all-new series, Love and Wealth. Don't miss out on all the thrills and excitement. Love and Wealth shows Tuesdays to Fridays at 5.30 p.m. starting 28 July 2021 only on Joy Prime. Joy Prime, the ultimate experience. There's coming the roar of prayer. Are you ready? Stand in the gap 2021. Prophet Gideon Danso Empowerment Worship Center is leading the charge with an army of prayer warriors, prayer addicts, worshippers from across the nations to stand in a gap for 48 hours non-stop. Warning, when we start, we don't stop. Joining the charge are pastors John Hanna, Guillermo Maldonado, Ben Doku, Ampia Kofi, Paula White, Regan D'Onofrio, Pushy Watson, and many more. Our hearts are ready to be lifted up to God in worship. Nathaniel Bassi, Victoria Orinze, Dusin Oyikan, Akese Brimpong, and our very dynamic EWC Live. Join us in person or online at stand48.com. From 29 to 31st of July, all roles lead to Stand in the Gap, 48 hours non-stop conference. Note the new venue, Jowulu, next to Allied Heights. For more information, call 055 100002. Stand in the Gap 2021. There's a way out. Empowerment Worship Center, where God lives. Buckle up, because we're flying high with the biggest entertainment show south of the Sahara. It's Showbiz A to Z. GQ's in the seat. George is on Joy. Keep it locked. George on Joy. It's Showbiz A to Z. Showbiz A to Z is powered by Joy Entertainment. We're large and in dark. I love this picture. In some five minutes, we're out of the studio. We're totally out of time. Let me just quickly go to my panel so we can wrap up this conversation. In the studios, I've got the man, Prince David Ose is here. Peter Sedufia is here. And Akofi Jani is also here. Akofa, let me start with you. So finally, I mean, in, in a minute, how can um, we get our audiences, our viewers, to draw a fine line and understand that we are not the roles we play? It is what it is, yeah. They just... <laughs> they, I, <laughs> when, when I was in school, my was it my math teacher or chemistry teacher or something? He said, you don't understand. He said, what don't you understand? That is how it is. It's, it's, it was my math teacher. He says, there's a formula. Follow the formula. What don't you understand? It works. So exactly. it's, it's what it is. They have to understand that this is make-believe. Yeah. Everything they are seeing on the screen... Is make believe. So once they put that at the back of their mind, 
It I works. think that will help. So whatever right. they are seeing us do, it's all purely acting. Acting. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, Prince? Uh, well, there's a big dichotomy between acting and uh, you, the person. Naturally, I'm a very shy person and quiet. Hey. But, you know, when people see me outside, or especially when it comes to the girls' girls thing, they expect me to do what I do on TV. And when I don't, they go like, oh, he's pretending or whatever. But that's not, that's not who I am. So they should understand this acting and it's not who we are. What we do is not who we are. We're trying to portray a character. We're trying to entertain them in their homes. They shouldn't take it personal. They should just enjoy the movie, take the moral values that is in the movie, discard the other vices, and, you know, we'll all be okay. Peter, I've got something else for you because the two have um, done justice <laughs> to that topic. The cinemas are open. Um, good news? Yeah, it's good news. I mean, it's always a starting point that you may have 50% capacity, but it's going to grow. It's better to start it and let it grow from 50 to 75 to 80 to 90 to 100%. So we, we hope and pray that this new uh, DND, uh, Delta, Delta, DND, 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 So DND, 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 uh, we will be back to uh, 100% capacity and we'll be Great, happy. great, great. Gentlemen and lady, thank you very much. Well, can I congratulate to Doreen before I leave? Yes, go ahead. You know, tomorrow is Glades Women's uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Order, Women yeah. of the Year Award exactly. Glades and she's Doreen is getting uh, Do Doreen an Ando. award. Yes, so no, the, she's the queen of the, the airwaves, the joy bringer. Uh, 11 other women. women. I, am well, getting, well. I am getting an award for excellence in acting. Yes. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Thank you very you much. <laughs> and that's it there. You heard from Peter Sadofia, Kofa Ijani, and of course Prince David Ose. Show comes your way again next week, God willing. My name is George Quay. Was produced by the man Philip Nye. And Anita, and of course, Selwyn put us on social media. DJ Black gave us the countdown. DJ Uber to give us the music. Noela Karen Yale gave us showbiz this week. And don't forget, if you want to have them, can promise to slow down on your phone as your caller ring back tone. Just dial star 1355 star 226 hash. Dollar on you is star 1355 star 142 hash. Or one winning by Joe Metal is star 1355 star 140 hash. Praise by Famia star 1355 star 155 hash. Mood from Mr. Drew is star 1355 26 hash. Just dial star 1355 hash and follow the menu 